Hello, my friends. This is Jeannie. Welcome back. If you are new, welcome. I am going to continue to work on my super-sized journal using some wallpaper catalog sheet type dividers <laughs> that were in some very large, very large, extra large wallpaper sample books that I have. If you have not seen the first video where I share how I made the three signatures, be sure to check that out. I will link it in this general area here so that you are caught up and know what I'm doing. Today, we are going to work on the cover. So, the cover for this particular book, as it turns out, is going to be 15 and a quarter by eight and it will have a two inch spine i used some chipboard in my stash to create the cover and i did not film that process because i have i think i think i have in the past shown how i make these types of covers but if that is something you're interested in seeing again just leave a comment <laughs> down below and I will of course be happy to film that process this is not going to be the last journal that I make that's for sure so there will be plenty of other opportunities to show this process so I made the cover using two pieces of chipboard and a centerpiece for the spine I used some Tyvek, Tyvek to wrap around and connect the covers and the spine. And then I lined, because my chipboard is kind of a craft color, and I didn't want to start with the craft color base. I wanted to start with a white base because I had an idea in terms of what I wanted to do with the cover, and it required that I have a lighter base as opposed to that darker craft cover. cover. <laughs> so I did wrap it in paper, which I regret. I should have just gessoed the entire thing. I think, I think would have been better because what I am seeing now is that because this cover is so large um, and I didn't do such a great job with the gluing of the paper, I am seeing some bubbling doesn't bother me so much because I'm not selling this book. This is for my personal use, but um, lesson learned. After I uh, covered it in that paper, I did then actually have to go through and gesso it anyway because I want to use my gloss sprays and I want to have a non-porous surface so that chipboard doesn't just absorb <laughs> the spray. I need the spray to move a little bit or else it's going to look crazy. So that's where we are. I think, not I think, I know what I'm going to do. I was debating between wrapping in fabric, using wallpaper, or maybe collaging or painting. And what it came down to is... I want to use my gloss sprays. I have these Dina Wakely gloss sprays in various colors. I've used them in the past. I love using them. I will say, as much as I love my gloss sprays, they are a bit of a pita, pain in the, yeah, because they, they clog, constantly clogging. So we will see. We will see <laughs> how much of this I am actually able to get on video. Um, I don't know that these colors are all going to cooperate with me. I already tested one of them, the white, and it was really badly clogged. So I had to, hold, had to like stop and go clean that up. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to film this. Let's see what happens. There might be... I think I'm going to have to do some serious editing <laughs> and edit, edit out all of these stoppages that I'm sure are going to happen because of a clogged spray bottle. But 
all that being said the colors I'm using I have the white I have the color gilt gilt which is a gold beautiful beautiful gold I have cheddar which I'm looking at and I have not given this bottle a good shake you have to give them a good shake because they do separate I also have fuchsia eggplant marine I went with purples and blues with some yellows see what happens night ocean I think medieval is hanging around in here somewhere yeah medieval so <laughs> let's do this and see what happens if worst case scenario if this is a flop and I absolutely hate it I can always cover it that's the good thing and if it flops to the point where the cover is just gone it can't be redeemed I have more chipboard I'll do it again <laughs> and then for those who do want to see me <laughs> do a step-by-step -step on how I made this cover hey <laughs> it'll be an opportunity for me to do it so gotta do it right as much as this is making me very nervous you gotta feel that fear and then do it anyway so <laughs> let's see what happens
struggle was real. But truthfully, I kind of love the way it turned out. Isn't that the way it is? <laughs> I have to laugh. Oh my gosh, I just didn't see it going this direction. Let's see if we can... Uh, here, there we go. I'm trying to kind of angle it so that it, we don't get too much of a glare, but... Oh my goodness. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. My goodness. I was worried. I thought I was going to have to scrap this. You don't know. I was formulating a plan B, C, D, E, F, G in my head. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to... <laughs> I am going to use my black archival ink and I'm searching to see why would I uh, yeah, here we'll use this one this doesn't really matter I'm going to use my back black archival ink <laughs> just to uh, darken these edges a little bit I'm gonna start there. I don't think this is gonna, this is not nearly as dark as I want it. Should I play with this wax? I've never used it before. I got. You know what? Let's do it. Why not? Oh, <laughs> just get it open. I bought this. Um. There we go. This black. Gilders wax. I shared it in my last video. Ooh. Ooh, wait. Should you put your hand in there? Probably not, right? Because you don't want to introduce germs to it. So I'm going to scrape some off. Put it in the tin. Oh my God, that feels so nice. Wait a minute. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Guess what I'm doing? I'm using this instead. Look how dark that is. I love it. Okay, let me let me turn off one of the studio lights yeah that helps a little bit and hopefully you can better see just how beautiful this turned out Wow listen you saw it yourself it was a mess my god it was a mess it was a mess it was scary it was a scary mess <laughs> And now look at it. It's beautiful. <laughs> I can't get over this. Even the spine is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look at that. That is the cover. Now I want to make sure my hands are dry before I share with you the rest of what I have planned for this. So I plug my Cricut in and did some searching and I found a template for an arch window. 
and I use some of the same chipboard that uh, I used to make the cover. I use that same chipboard to cut out this arch window. So I use the chipboard piece. Here it is. Here it is. Smaller than the cover itself. And so this is going to have a little bit of a dimensional effect. It's not going to stay this color. I just gessoed this chipboard. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it yet. But um, so this would be the arch window. Okay. And I even have a frame. This is a frame for the arch window, which will be a very different color. This will be one color. This will be a separate color. This will probably be gold. I think I'm thinking this will be gold. This will be gold, maybe with some black splatter. And I'm not sure what this outside piece will look like. This is just an extra. This was the piece that was in there. But that's not all. On Pinterest, I found this amazing image. Check this image out. Isn't it beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. Don't know who it's by. I was looking and looking and looking so I can credit the artist. But couldn't find it. And because I'm not selling this book, because it's for my own personal use, I'm going to use it. I'm going to cut it down. And I'm going to use this to frame it. Right? So it'll almost be from the outside looking into someone's room. Okay? This just looks so dreamy, so fantastical. I love it. And then with the frame, it'll really be just amazing. So that's the plan. <laughs> and yeah, I'm definitely not going to get it all done in this video. I think what I will continue to do, you saw me struggle through this process right here. Okay. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this a good stopping spot for this cover. And when I come back in my next video, I will in all likelihood already have this painted <laughs> and the frame painted and yeah, then we will go from there. Thank you, my friends, for watching. I truly do appreciate you. If you are new to my channel, subscribe, come back, join me, continue to join me in some of this continued chaos I call my crafting room. There's method to this madness, I promise you. No, not really, there isn't. <laughs> the only um, goal here is to finish with something I love and adore, and regardless how I get there, I get there and today I got there I did I really got there um, so if you are new be sure to subscribe if you are subscribed be sure to activate that notification bell so that you are notified anytime I post a new video and if you were entertained <laughs> if you were amazed at the end result because I am um, thumbs up really would appreciate it and it goes a long long way to helping out my youtube channel i will catch you all in the next video my friends until next time bye bye <laughs>